Hi, welcome to Talking Fanciful. I'm uh, one of the hosts of Talking Fanciful, Zachary. And uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss the ICJ and the INTP relationship, um, uh, specifically romantic. So I currently am in a relationship with an ISTJ, um, and during this time, I have noticed uh, certain trends of behavior and, and ways an INTP and ISTJ interact. Uh, now, I, I would try to be as objective as possible, even though I have, I have only my subjective experience to speak from. Uh, and uh, for uh, the prefaces, I will say that you know every relationship is uh, idiosyncratic, and uh, they have their own experiences. Uh, people are are individuals. Uh, I my experiences are in no way representative of the generalized experiences of all ISTJs and INTPs. <sighs> With that said, um, I think there's a double introversion and disillusionment. So what I mean by disillusionment is that. Um, I have to be the one who engages most of the time. So when I first, when we first started out, it was, we engaged cerebrally at first. So we, we definitely connected on a cerebral level as opposed to a, uh, or an emotional level. Um, we engage basically discussing, um, political views and religious views, uh, which is interesting because most people don't like to bond over things like that. It's, it's usually topics of, um, uh, it's topics of, of, usually resistance if people don't agree and I think that we primarily disagreed at the beginning but uh, throughout talking um, it was it was interesting because we both listened to each other and um, were able to put our feelings aside and uh, objectively look at our ideas and beliefs and uh, it, we exchanged them in a nice way it was pleasant it was very pleasant uh, I don't get that a lot of a lot of time for people um, we uh, so we engaged cerebrally and it uh, doesn't mean that we don't have, we don't have emotions, but think about ICJs, uh, they, their FI is in their third slot, and it tends to be rather, well, it, it's, it's their feelings introverted. So I don't, uh, her, she's not very expressive. Uh, I would even go as far as to say that uh, she's quite robotic, actually. Um, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I, during the time we've been together, I've learned to sort of, um, I mean that's that's part of her personality. I, I like her for who she is, not for someone that, some kind of um, paradigm that I want her to fit in. You know, I I like her for her, even though she's robotic. Um, I don't mind being the, the one who has to engage their extroverted functions the most. Um, I think that Eni and Effie go a long way in um, helping our conversations and our interactions flow fluently. Um, that's not to say she doesn't reciprocate that, but. It takes a lot of time for ICJs, and they have to become comfortable because they're they're so dominant. Uh, their 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 dominant function is SI, so they're only going to do that if they're comfortable doing that. And not only one are they unsure if they're comfortable doing it from their own perspective, but two, a big obstacle for ICJs is they don't know if their partner is comfortable with it. Uh, I think ICJs want to initiate things all the time, but they're unaware if their partner uh, wants them to. So I think early on it's important to vocalize that, that um, you know you're okay with them initiating things, uh, you, you're okay with uh, with them being more open. But I mean you can't pressure them to being open. I think ISCJs are naturally just sort of they they're not very expressive and they don't talk about their emotions a lot. Now that's one of the things that's really that frustrates me a little bit about our relationship is that if there's a problem I can sense it sometimes, um, and I have to kind of um, I have to kind of make her bring it up. She doesn't want to bring it up. So this worries me because sometimes I feel that there may be issues that I'm not aware of that I feel that she wouldn't be in a position or she wouldn't feel that she's in a position to bring up to me. And even though I don't like to deal with emotions, it is necessary, especially in romantic bonds, because if you don't work through emotional troubles, then uh, the relationship is ultimately going to fail. It's very important to work through emotional issues like that. So it kind of frustrates me that she doesn't bring it up very much. Uh, with that said, though, uh, but even though they're not very expressive emotionally, ICJs, they, sp they speak with actions. Actions speak way louder than words for them. Uh, it's, they're very, uh, they're very, uh, loving physically as well. Uh, I think they prefer to show their love physically, uh, as opposed to emotionally for sure. Uh, she enjoys my philosophical ramblings, theoretical ramblings, uh, but 
is not necessarily reciprocated because she doesn't have TI in her, in her function slot. She prefers to talk about biology and uh, scientific studies, stuff that she's, articles she's reading, stuff like that. She doesn't engage much in theory, but she does enjoy hearing it. And if there is some evidence to back up what I'm saying, then uh, she will usually reciprocate on those vectors. And um, and we can uh, discuss the topic uh, fluently after that. But she does like to listen to my philosophical or theoretical ramblings, which which I love because I like having an ally can that too as well. Um, and I feel that because of my NE, that when I talk about uh, theories I'm thinking about or I talk about a subject that I like that may be abstract, I feel like I truly um, develop my understanding of the subject when I'm relaying the information to another person. I think it's a very important thing to learn for INTPs to um, be able to convey information in an accurate and uh, concise manner, and I think that uh, she provides me that outlet. So uh, I, I very very much like that. Uh, we we engage in a lot of bonding over um, SI related activities. Uh, so we we love listening to albums together. We love watching movies together. Um, we we like doing things that bring us both comfort. If things that would normally bring me comfort in my alone time, and her and her alone time, uh, bring us both comfort together. It not only provides us uh, things to do together, but it provides a level of comfort that we both can achieve. And uh, I, I generally just enjoy being around her. Um, she has become one of my closest friends, uh, which is strange because usually I don't become like super close friends with with romantic partners. But she's become uh, one of my one of my best friends, and we we generally get along with each other. We generally appreciate each other's input. Uh, she's more TE oriented, so. Um, it kind of a it acts as a nice it acts as a nice uh, I guess reference point. It, it's a nice catalyst for me to if I present her a theory, she's going to ask me for evidence. Unless so, I need to either convince her through reason or I convince her through evidence. Both of those things help me because they help me develop. Uh, my own ideas, my own uh, thoughts and values and beliefs, and it's very helpful because of that. So I most of the time dominate the conversation through any and Effie, um, and this is the this is the driving point most of our interactions, uh, at least until they start getting more comfortable. But I think that uh, there's a certain I think that they the ISCJ see something in that in the INTPs, right? They see the the any dominant or the any uh, secondary um, auxiliary. And I think they, they appreciate that because it's their inferior. They don't always understand, you know, how any works or any can be kind of tricky with them. And I think that seeing someone else who engages in it a lot or, 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 or sees their any as a friend, as a close ally and a, and a contemporary, I think it shows them, it helps them develop their any. It helps them develop their any and it helps them uh, value the any in ways that they may have not before if they had been exposed to someone who using any high in their function stack. Uh, so in general, the I, ISTJ and INTP relationship is, um, is, is very comfortable. It's very comfortable, it's very uh, cerebral. I think that there is a certain amount of effort both individuals have to put into opening up to one another and, and uh, sharing their emotions, but I think that could be achieved with some effort and the, the relationship in general runs uh, pretty smoothly and, and pretty relaxed. Uh, it's 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 going really great and um yeah i suppose i would recommend it cheers